Hello and welcome to Mukesh Tech Hub. In this video, I will be explaining how to use the apply map and apply map functions in a real data frame. These functions are very useful when working with data in pandas and can help you to manipulate and transform your data efficiently. Throughout this video, I will provide you clear examples and explanations of how these functions work and when to use them. By the end of this video, you will have to better understanding of how to use apply, map and apply map functions in your projects. If you find this video helpful, please consider sharing it with your colleagues and friends, subscribing to Mukesh Tech Up channel and giving it a thumbs up. Subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update. All right. So this is the data frame, Titanic data frame. Actually, that is I'm using to showcase how we can use map, apply and apply map. All right. Now let's move on to the Jupyter notebook. This is the Jupyter notebook and the required dependencies for this one, importing the pandas as PD. Let me read that CSV file PD dot read underscore CSV. And URL is http colon double slash bitch dot ly slash kaggle train. I will be putting this uh, URL in the description of this video. Kaggle train. And uh, let me give the name as train data. All right. Now let me show you the train data, how it looks like. With the top rows, train data dot head. You can see here the column name as passenger ID, survive ID, class, name, sex, age, and these are the many things. Okay. So now first we will talk about the map function. First I will talk about the map function. Map allows us to map existing values of a series to a different set of values. What map says, if you want to apply a existing values to a different set of values, then we should use map. Okay. What does this mean? Let me take the example of this X column. Here, what I have to do, my problem statement is, I need to convert this male and female in the form of 0 and 1. There are many ways to do this one, but I'm doing with this of help of map function. Okay. So what I will do train data because this data set is part of this train data dot. What is the column name here? Sex dot and I will use map function. All right. And inside the map, I will pass a dictionary dictionary is male colon one so i'm replacing male with one comma female let me do this also in the code female colon zero this should be outside colon one okay and now what I need to do is I need to assign it back to the same data frame column. So train data and column name is let me take a different column name is sex underscore num. Okay. So what I'm doing here, I just transform the existing sex column values that was male and female to a numerical value that is 0 and 1. Now let me do train data dot head. So you can see here sex underscore num. Okay, this is too far. Maybe you can uh, find some difficulty. Okay, let me zoom out. Okay, what I will do, let me compare this one. So, the train data, let me compare these two column. This one, just comparing 
the existing sex column and the modified sex underscore num column. So what I will do, I'm using the log function here log and I'm taking only zero to two rows and the column name as the modified column name. Okay, comma, comma, the existing one. Okay, now you can see here the modified sex underscore num one indicates to the male, zero indicates to the female. All right, so this is the transformation of the existing sex column to a numerical form. 